Okay, folks, this should be the last demo for the day. Let's see if we can make this one come up a treat. Okay, let's see what we have here. We have here a gossip magazine, new idea, but we're not interested in all the celebrities and glitterati. We're interested in this, an Office Works commercial. Interesting, the uh, slogan here, make bigger things happen. Well, I'm using Office Works to do just that. I get my micro SD cards from them. I get my um, get other stuff from them I get my photocopy paper mostly from them uh, and I use their and I also utilize their self-service photocopiers and I take I take items off the shelf at office works and put them on the glass on their machines and make demos there and I really find that quite cheeky and I just leave them on the top there and that's it and I'm trying to get in touch get on the six o'clock news and trying to get recognised as an artist and also I'm trying to get in touch with a lost partner, Luigi. So I'm trying to get Channel 9 interested in this shit that I'm doing and basically I'm using Officeworks as slogan, uh, as inspiration for, for reality instead of, just, instead of it just being a slogan. It's come up looking at a treat. I think we can take it, cut it there and, ex and stretch it. So yeah, making big bigger things happen. It's not just a slogan. It's not just to, to me, it's not just an advertising trope. It's actually me doing just that, doing what I can to make bigger things happen. Uh, even if I don't do it their way, like I'm pretty sure they're not gonna like seeing my material on the television, but that doesn't matter. I don't care, you know publicity I need to get out there and make and beat my disabilities by so this is what we just pulled up and this is the advert I just worried I forgot to show but basically I want to be recognized for what I can do not what I can't do I'm trying to um, overcome the restrictions of my disabilities so I can make money myself and get off Centrelink so I don't have to be on uh, the disability support pension, which which even though I'm grateful for it, it doesn't pay much and I work in an Australian disability enterprise or an ADE for short, and I don't enjoy it. Uh, I do believe I had, I got one disability that I had diagnosed and it's got me my Centrelink benefits and, and also access to the ADE, but there are other disabilities that have not been diagnosed such as brain, dam brain damage at birth. I had a cord around my neck and I came out breech. And I also believe I have high functioning autism, which has, which has flown under the radar as well. The, uh, unfortunately, the brain damage has caused a lot of trouble at school because it made it really difficult for me to learn and to, to absorb information and to retain it. And I got blind. And the thing that's bad about not having a diagnosis for disabilities is that the disabled person gets gets in trouble and ends up looking bad, uh, even though they they didn't do the wrong thing. They didn't fuck up on purpose. It's because they're limited and they're not diagnosed. So I got into. Tr I had. I've been treated like I had a bad attitude to learning when really it was my brain overloading and when I was at special school and I screamed the words, 
I can't do it, I can't do it, it's too hard, it's too hard. It's like, back off, my, you, you just made me blow my fucking circuit breaker, you bitches. You know, you, you blow my fucking circuit breaker. You know, give me space, give me, just, re, just let me relax. You know, it's, I just can't do it as fast as you, all the other kids could. It's like, fuck. And of course, the uh, high-functioning autism gave me this passion for photocopiers. Now it's not a problem, but at school it was a problem because uh, my parents, especially my dad and my brother, did not approve of my photocopier art. And again, I got... It, but they didn't have a diagnosis for high-functioning autism or Asperger's back then, so I had no way... Of knowing, but if I if hypothetically both those disabilities were recognised, I could have got off. I could have been given a lot less pressure applied to me, and who knows? I might have been able to get better marks at school, or get less teasing and bullying. What well, teasing and bullying was a problem I had throughout my entire school life, and I just couldn't help me being me. It's just like I couldn't be me and be free. And I just felt school was just so hard and it was just so awful. And if I had have been recognised for the disabilities I had, at least I could have had some leniency and I'm still not diagnosed for them to this day. And, you know, and, I, and, I, and the other disability I have, which I have been diagnosed with, it basically is too stigmatic to talk about. I don't want to talk about it because I'm, it's, it has stigma involved. Or I, that's how I feel personally. It's got stigma involved, but it's not the only thing. It's the tip of the iceberg. And I also have an alternating squint, which has been diagnosed by an optometrist, where I can't use my eyes together. And I have to close, often close one eye and keep one... No, like this, when I'm concentrating, I have to close one eye. I can't use my eyes together, so I can't. I don't have three-dimensional viewing, and I make errors on the computer screen. Sometimes I just can't find the mouse because I jump from one eye to the other. It's really annoying these disabilities, but fuck, you know, if they were just recognised, like the, the high-functioning autism and the. Um, brain damage because you know, when your hippocampus and your short term memory have been damaged and that's what I read in Google that these parts of the brain are vulnerable to oxygen starvation you know you, you haven't got much hippocampus or short term memory how are you supposed to fucking take the information in and retain it it's like I can't take much of it in and I can't retain much of it it just drove me nuts I hated school I didn't know I had anything wrong like that I, you know, so I didn't know myself. But the professionals at the special school at Arndell, they should know better and they should have picked it up that I had an intellectual disability. These bitches are really stupid. And I have to live with, live with it, you know? Fuck. It's too expensive getting a diagnosis, especially for the high-functioning autism. They charge a lot of money for that. And I don't have that sort of money as a person with disability. Ha ha. Catch-22. Whatever, folks. I'm really over it, but I'm going to make bigger things happen. That's what they say. Big things, bigger things. Yeah, whatever. And that's come up looking quite interesting. I think we can now call this demo quits.